How's it going YouTube? It's Apoc. Today I have a new Lens Studio object for you that will allow you to set your own custom date format to display as well as time is also supported. So I'm going to show you how to use it right now. The first thing you need to do is download it from the description. So you're going to download custom date formatter.lso. This is a Lens Studio object. You just drag and drop it into Lens Studio. If that doesn't work, in your objects panel, right click import object. It's going to open up your file browser and you can just import it that way. Next thing to do is add your text objects. If you don't already have one in your scene, I'm just going to use the screen text. So it's going to be just conveniently shown for us there and move it above the custom date object because this is using some, the text object. So it needs to be rendered after it. The next thing is going to tell you down here, custom date formatter, no text component found, make sure to add it to the script. So click on your script and you'll see a blank spot here for the text, drag your text right onto that blank spot. You can also click on that spot and it will just allow you to go like that and select it that way, which is a bit longer. Now that's done, you'll see some information down here. Don't worry about that at the moment. We're gonna come over here to the format. So format is a drop down you can choose from all these default ones I wrote in. Uh, a lot of them are pretty common. So we have your standard one in the US at least is month, day, year. Then we have some other countries use day, month, year. And just some variations of that. We have ones with the time and 12 hour and 24 hour time. We have, you know, ones that list out the month and then we have custom. Now this is where you can do whatever you want really. So down here, as I said, it printed out something and it says get custom format codes here. It's a bit up bit.ly link, which is also going to be in the description. So it's a little easier for you to click. You can also click here and like copy it, but it's going to also include the timestamp. So it might be a bit hard to do. Um, so just check the description and that will take you to the site. This site is how you format the dates. It's using moment.js for any developers out there. If you already know moment.js, great. You just use that formatting. This is also pretty standard across a lot of things, I believe. But yeah, all of these will work. The time zone ones I'd shy away from because they don't really work on every device I've found. Um, so you don't want to use these probably, but the rest should work just fine. Um, some localization stuff also doesn't work. So and just be weary of that, but in general, pretty much all of these will work. And if they don't work, it will just be blank. So it's really not too big of a deal. Sorry to see my mic there a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's try and make a custom one just so I can show you guys how it works. So we're going to do Sunday. Let's, let's do that. Let's get the, the day of the week. So just remove the custom one right there right now. And Sunday was four lowercase D's. So that's going to give us the day of the week and it's currently Monday. Go back here and let's get short January, the short abbreviation for the month. So we have, that is three capitalized M's. I'm actually going to shrink the screen text here a little bit. So it'll fit a little better. That might not be enough. Okay. And then I actually want to do the day. So that's two capital D's, I believe. Yeah. When you click off, it'll update. Do a comma there. And we're going to do the year, which I believe is four capital Y's. I'm just grabbing all this from here. I kind of know off the top of my head, but yeah, that's where it's coming from. Um, and then we're actually gonna get a little crazy here and use some time related things. So we're going to do, uh, centi seconds, I guess. Let's do that. Let's throw that in there. So that's two capital S's. You can also do milliseconds is three. So let's throw them both in there. As you can see, it's going to update in real time because I have it running on a loop to actually keep getting the time to make sure things like this work. So the time will update as people use it and yeah, that's how it works guys. Literally just using the codes from here and you can add quick little formatting tutorial. You can just add things in between here. Like you can add another comma there if you want. You can throw a slash in here. You just gotta make sure the codes stay together so you can't break up these Y's without it changing to something else. But you know, if you just wanna add like an equal sign here, you can do that if you want. Um, so, you know, you wanna kind of shy away from using letters that it uses. I mean, if I put a D there it's going to actually use that because it's one of the things it parses but other letters ones that it doesn't use i'm not sure off the top of head what it doesn't use but maybe like k will show up oh apparently that's used okay um r i don't think is used yeah there we go so yeah some letters like that will just have to look here and see if it's actually used um but yeah guys that's really how easy it is just uh comment if you need any help i can help you out with some date formatting um if you guys got the hang of it you know reply to other people's comments that need help it can be a little bit confusing at first and yeah once like i said developers out there it's using moment.js um 
quick little thing for developers in here. I did import moment already. So if you're planning to use more date related things, moments already here. Um, you just call it how I did right here. I actually left a little note here. So you can just call it by using moment. And that's really how easy it is. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. If you need any help, you have suggestions, drop them in the comments below. I'd also really appreciate if you left some suggestions for the default formats, because I feel like these are pretty common, but I'm not entirely sure what ones everybody wants to use in lenses and things like that. So if you have more suggestions for the default ones, drop a, drop a comment and I might update the script at a later time. So thanks for watching. Peace.